Well, everybody, it's about that time of the year again. No, it's not Christmas. It's the discussion about Bloodlust and whether or not it should be in the game. It, there's been a lot more discussion lately that I've seen popping up about wanting Bloodlust removed or saying that Bloodlust is okay. It's something that goes back and forth all the time. A lot of it is shrouded in some bias or lack of experience on one side or the other, not to anyone's fault, but just because someone prefers Survivor over Killer or Killer over Survivor. I've even watched a few new discussion videos popping up about it, and that made me kind of want to make my own. For the two people that don't know what Bloodlust is, if you chase a Survivor for too long and you do not commit the actions of hitting them, downing them, breaking a pallet, or using your power, then you will start to gain movement speed. You get three tiers of Bloodlust. It goes from 5% to 10% to 15%. A lot of people feel that it ruins chases, that it makes it too easy, that it's a crutch, etc., etc. And there's a lot of back and forth on that as well. So what is my take on Bloodlust? I think it should stay. However, I don't think Tier 2 and Tier 3 should stay. I think Bloodlust 1 should be the only version of Bloodlust that exists. Reason being is that Bloodlust is a band-aid fix for bad map design. And I don't know if you've noticed, but maps haven't gotten better over time. In fact, they get worse every time a new map releases, and map reworks make maps even worse. Bloodlust exists to counteract bad map design so killers can catch up on things that would formerly be impossible, or at the very least, much more difficult. And while I don't fully like the idea of Bloodlust, I don't think it should be fully removed unless the maps are completely reworked to support the idea of it not existing. Because at the moment, the maps are built with the idea of bloodlust in mind, and removing it out of nowhere would just cause a lot of issues and a lot of uncatchable scenarios for some killers. As well as the fact that maps in DBD are just poorly designed in general, and bloodlust kind of exists to counteract that. So, the, the fact of the matter is, is that unless Behavior wanted to go through and rework all of the maps to both compensate for bloodlust no longer existing and setting them up to have way better design for both sides, then I think keeping a little bit of Bloodlust in the game is probably the best call. Now, as for Bloodlust 2 and 3, I think Bloodlust 2 and 3 are overkill. I feel like there's no real scenario in an actual chase in which you should be hitting Bloodlust 2 and 3, and if anything, it means that you're spending a lot of time on a chase you probably should have dropped a long time ago. So I do think that in that sense, Bloodlust 2 and 3 does act as kind of a crutch. Bloodlust 1 makes sense, doesn't take that long, some loops are a little bit too strong, and take M1 killers a lot of time to catch up. So Bloodlust 1 kind of balances that out. But Bloodlust 2 and 3, there's no real scenario in which you should be getting to that. The only time I get to that is at the end game, where there's one survivor left, and I just want to get the chase done and over with, so I just Bloodlust the hell out of them and just get the hit, because there's no pressure I'm losing by Bloodlusting that person, they're the last one left. So that's the only time I ever use Bloodlust 2 and 3 a lot. Uh, other than that, using it, unless you know that you have just a lot of time on your hands in a match, you probably shouldn't be getting to it in the first place, and I do think it holds up a lot of players. So getting rid of those, I think, is the best course, but I don't think you should completely get rid of Bloodlust due to how the maps are designed, and because Bloodlust is a band-aid fix for that. So that's my overall opinion. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you're feeling on that. Uh, but anyway, thank you very much for watching. Appreciate your time. And hopefully I structured my arguments in a good way and you won't get bad at me. And, you know, we'll all just get along and be one happy family at the end of it. Uh, okay, thank you. Bye.